Hello and welcome to Pillars. Last time we were just about to sail into Ondra's mortar and uh, choose what we're gonna do about Eotas. So I did just that. We sailed in with our dinky boat. The instantly uh, sunk. Then I bought a big junk and took it back. Uh, of course, uh, uh, started recording another video. The, the of course sunk again instantly so if we want to have a more satisfying ending to the story we may have to ally ourselves with a faction or two at least one faction i don't know this is this is not ideal i don't know if we can actually unite the factions uh that could be a one thing to uh, uh worth trying out also worth saying that uh i thought about a little bit more about uh what Eotas did and trying to do. So he, in the first game, just uh, tried to inform people that didn't work out. The gods stopped him. So that line of that those those that would never work. But like if the if a god gets killed, uh, then uh, I suppose mortals don't really have uh, much of a choice. And uh, now he's tr just trying trying to break the cycle and hoping that uh, mortals will. Uh, fix it in a way and that will actually kill the gods by breaking the wheel. <clears throat> he might be right because the Inguitans probably lived as mortals before they became gods. Maybe they broke the natural cycle and replaced it with the wheel to feed their power. Obviously they are pretty power hungry. Uh, but maybe the natural cycle is just sur uh, suppressed. So, I don't know. We just don't know. One for sure. Eotas definitely committed uh, crimes against uh, humanity. But it is true that the gods ruling over all of us, basically mankind, uh, wasn't too kind either to a lot of people, and they actually just considered killing a lot of people, maybe all the people, just to stop Eotas. <clears throat> so Hazano Ikaru, are you ready to be my friend? Rautai needs a reprieve from the storms, and Deadfire needs order, and I need your help more than I like to admit. Uh, yeah, me too. Are you ready to join forces once and for all? I'm with you no matter what. Then you must kill Queen Onikaza the second. Awesome! Woo! I was I was looking to do that all game long. Not actually have a quest to kill one Kaza too. How could someone be called one Kaza and put have a two in his name in her name? Oh, unbelievable! Yes, hell yes. You know, I kind of don't like you guys because you're like, you know, a little bit aggressive. But I can identify with you guys the most. Killing one Kaza too, that's so satisfying. Well, you guys are definitely uh, preparing a queue. Uh, just like me. I was just preparing my own. Huh. I wonder what the other factions say. Yeah? Oh, what a relief to finally see that bottle uncorked. Hell yeah! Wait, which queen was that? That the one Kaza too. And that be our invitation to ship right off, I right, Cap. I don't ask this lightly, but while the queen holds court, pirates and valian profiteers close in. She does a terrible job. Not only at, she does like an all-round terrible job. Her own people suffer. She is just a puppet. I don't know. I, I I guess I don't really want to. I, I I don't see what she is dealing with, but she seemed to be doing a terrible job. And she's not very charismatic either. She's not really like a, a charismatic puppet. She's not like a diplomat in a way. She doesn't make friends. Okay. Well, 
You're right. And my countrymen back in Rawatai see their homes and crops washed away by storms. Well, I, 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 I sympathize with you, but that doesn't mean you can just come here and... Uh... The thing is, they don't really... The Deathfire uh, Trading Company, while aggressively expanding, doesn't want to kill the Huana or just kick out the Huana. Or even... Like, they wanna coexist with the Huana. While they are, can be considered, well, they are definitely unwelcome by some, or many, they are. <clears throat> they're not too bad. And they, they are the only competent faction. As far as I've seen. I know this isn't how you'd like to do things. <gasps> but it comes down to this. The continued decline of dead fire, or its sudden transformation. This is the only way to forge a stable future for Rawatai or the dead fire. And I need you to help us achieve it. What exactly is your plan? Come on, I can figure this out. <laughs> if you're going to improve the archipelago for everyone, then perhaps this is worth it. Yeah, that I, I would like to know about that. I'm not sure that conquering and ruling that far will be as simple or beneficial as you think. You can't just replace thousands of years of Huana culture with your own. I don't know. Do, do you want to do that? We have done this all over the mainland of Rawatai, where we have forged a great nation from warring peoples. The Huana are a fractured culture, and the Kahanga monarchy is the last tendon holding it together. The queen and her predecessors have been ineffectual figureheads for generations. I don't know about generations. I just kind of got here, but uh, she's definitely useless. They've <clears throat> left their people vulnerable to the predations of slavers, pirates, and yes, foreign powers. That is true. Your presence here just shows how weak she is. Once we depose the queen, we will rebuild Deadfire into something stronger and sturdier. If, if you're going to improve the archipelago for everyone, then perhaps it is worth it. That is our goal. You have my word. Surely there's another option. We must take action or risk being swept away by those who do. Okay. On my signal, the cannons of the Brass Citadel will fire, and our ships will bombard Queen's Berth. Come on, don't do that. My ship is parked there. That should draw enough attention away from the palace to allow you to infiltrate. And if I know the Queen, she'll wait out the danger on the roof of the palace. <laughs> what if you order to kill the Queen? Like, Azan and Karu, you need to kill the Queen. Already done it. I just didn't like her. I advise caution and stealth. The Queen will send many of her soldiers to the harbor, but those that remain will be on high alert. Oh yeah, you're going to attack a harbor full of innocent people? We are going to sink Valian ships and damage their <laughs> infrastructure. Trust me, I want to avoid casualties. I like you guys. I'm sending you to assassinate the Queen because I don't want to massacre her people. I'm on board with that. She's definitely not guilty. Maybe she doesn't literally have blood on her hands, like killing people personally, but uh, her, de her decisions definitely led to a lot of people, uh, a lot of dead people. What about my ship? My cannoneers are the very best. Your ship will not be damaged. You better not. I just bought it. It's called junk. And the prince? Attacking him will likely raise the alarm, and the queen is your main target. Shouldn't we just wipe out their entire bloodline? He's a jerk too. Still, losing him would be a blow to the Juana, should it come to that. Mm. We're doing this right now? I cannot let this opportunity escape us, or risk word getting out. Got it! Then there's no time to lose. She knows the soldier standing outside the door who salutes and hurries away. That's the signal. We'll maintain the distraction until you've completed your task. I'm if going you need to rest and prepare. The barracks below are open to you. Meet me at the docks outside when you've finished. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, do we need to rest? 
Can we rest here? We can. You can only wait. Seems like we got a bit of a hangover. Should we go to the barracks and uh, take a nap for 8 hours now? Seems a bit extreme. Should we go to the barracks? Is there, is there anything there? Oh, it, it feels inappropriate. We're not gonna do it. Sothi sways on her feet, eyes glazed, sweat trickles from her right temple, down the line... Okay. Down the line of her jaw, she hunches inward as her muscles shiver and seize. Decided to help after all? Come on, you two. Let's watch them. Alright, lass. Back to the surface with you. Sothi sucks in a ragged breath, rubbing at her eyes as if... Having woken from a fitful sleep. Right easy to forget how terrifying and gutty a mirror and that lot be. Till you watch a lass's dream of them, eating up every man, woman, and babe in the dead fire. This is my point. We don't have time for. You see, I hate one Kaza just as anybody, but this is not the time to overthrow the government. At least that's what I was saying to myself. I saw the gods. All but gone and Barith trapped in hell, starving, wither into dust and bones. They were eating souls to survive. Do you think it's a message from Eotas? I do. I think gone's showing me what's to come, so we can find a way to endure it. I don't be thinking it were a normal dream, neither. More like something lurking on the edge of your thoughts. Something I can't rightly grasp out of. Apologies, lass. Wish I were of more help. Why apologize? It's not your burden to bear. It's mine. A half-hearted smile goes her lips as she sniffs and turns away. I'm a little bummed that we didn't take a lot on this adventure. I didn't care for Pelagina much, and uh, that fish boy uh, wasn't too interesting either. It was, it was fine. I think he had. He, maybe he, uh, he would have had uh, interesting uh, lines to say. Uh, in some cases. We can't even go there. We can't go into the Kahanga Palace. I'm just gonna go into S Serpent Crown. He did have interesting lines to say, so... I do plan to go for like maybe a second playthrough with them, but I don't know how that would be different. Not sure how much is left of this. Could be like 10, 20 hours. Could be a long. Could be uh, still a lot. Well, the th thing is with the Death Fire Company. They feel like they have to be here. Uh, there. Sorry for that one time I shot you in the leg. Ah, blood under the bridge, lass. Even if you near robbed me of my favorite bits. In all fairness, I thought I was aiming at a hairy powder barrel. <laughs> okay. Kill any intruders you. Whoa! What the hell? Serpent's Sorry, crown guard. Never Why kill me? Why are you guys attacking me now? I'm the bestest buddy of the queen. The decency to die. Okay, I, I clicked on the formation by accident. <laughs> just kill them all. I, I suppose the riot eye just had to leave their homeland because. Wait, what? Why is he so tanky? Okay, he's dying now. Because he was just inhospitable. <sighs> Palace Pier Warden. Sure. Take out all the suckers here. Right between the eyes. Mo, 
I very much suspect that brother is gonna die as well. Well, beating a trading company is all about profit, so if I had to choose, I would definitely choose... Uh, the thing is, I don't necessarily like this, because why does... Why do we have to have a queue right now? If anything, it should happen after the... After the... <laughs> after Eotas is dead. Wait, I think the formation is wrong. Yeah. He should be there. You sure? Yeah. Soti should be there. Uh, you should be here. And I think that's it. Right? Yeah. You see that, Ishii? Should I just blow them up? Blow up everybody! Oh, it didn't work. They interrupted me. What? But they know about somebody. And they're going to fight. Can we just kill these uh, allied guards first? So they don't run around. Palace Archer, that's the piece. Yeah. So, we can go upstairs first. We can kill the entire sector as well, but... Nah. The whole point here is to have the least amount of casualties. And wiping out the entire palace quarter does seem... Excessive. Looks like trouble. Queen one cause up. Barati. Instantly dead. Yeah, that that looked painful. That must hurt. What? Eighty seven percent chance to hit? Okay. Hey, Warden. No! Kill them all! Not much to do here. The warden is damn tanky. Never mind that. See that beauty of a hit, Maya. Anybody in here? Why not? Okay. Time to go up. Oh, I, I think we're going down into the Kahanga Palace now. At least the stairs were going down. That's not what I wanted. Damn it. <laughs> I really hope Von Kaza will not try to talk to me. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Uh, looks like I'm here to stay. Thinks you got the decency to die. <laughs> oh yeah, Prince Aurihi. Oh yeah, we should totally kill that guy. <laughs> The warden is running away. Come on. 
Don't even think about that. Still got it. We gotta take out the prince. Maybe pick up some stuff. It really doesn't matter. They have nothing. They don't even get anything for this. A mirror acolyte. Hey, Mira. Prince Aruhi. I I guess we could have uh, left him alive. Taking out the trader's quest failed. What kind of quest is that? Oh, they cancelled my ability. Come on, board them. That's been a long time coming. Good work, Captain. I hope this does look exceptional. Intellect perception. Oh, really? It's kind of dumb. Armed and good, but I don't see it. Another nail in a dead fire's coffin. <laughs> Let's go. Right between the eyes. Oh boy. Right between the eyes. It's a lot of dead people. No. <clears throat> Sixty damage. Yeah, that's garbage. <gasps> Get hung up the floor. Well, the prince was just like her, I suppose. A little bit, a little bit better, because at least he actually uh, dealt with matters. Being one cause out, not so much. Yeah, this is just as brutal as I, I planned. Got the rooftop. So are we gonna have a nice talk, Queen Wan Casa? Are you gonna try to I don't know. Please be your life. How about some food for the gullet? Wait, where is she? Did we kill her in the throne room? <laughs> Let's see. I killed Prince Aruihi. It's unlikely the commotion went unnoticed or that the queen has waited around to discover the cause. In any case, the Hazanui will want to hear about this. One the royal should be as good as the next. What? We can't kill? One Kaza? After we killed Hazanui? I mean, um. Aruihi? Unbelievable! Where's the queen? I thought I'm just gonna be thorough. No, 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 no. Can I, can I reload to kill one Kaza? That's literally was my entire goal in this game. To kill one Kaza. No! I did too many autosaves. Come on! 
40. We were at the rooftop, and she was not here. I auto saved and she was not here. I was never so disappointed in my life. We don't have a save. Wait, don't I have multiple auto saves? I don't think so. Please, game. I need to kill one Kaza. No, we don't have it. Why no multiple auto save system game? Now I'm very disappointed. Why not? Yeah, why not? God damn it. This is so disappointing. One Kaza needed to die. But I just wanted to show up to her and just say like, hey, what's up? I already killed your brother. Oh, you guys have one Kaza? Atsura approaches, sidestepping the twitching bodies and pools of blood. His expression is carefully inscrutable, inscrutable until he meets your eye. It's a terrible shame, this dreadful waste of life. Right. Still, the skirmish here will forestall much longer, bloodier battles in the future. I hope that comforts you as much as it does me. Our soldiers have taken control of the district, and will do the same throughout Mekitaga. The Queen has escaped, but there's little she can do now. The Prince's death will be a blow to her, both strategically and politically. And we now hold the seat of power in Deadfire. I need to kill one Kaza. You're responsible for the welfare of all Deadfire now, not just Ruotai. To be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Yeah, this is not how you get into a position of power, right? Kill someone. And expect to that you're gonna take care of everybody. I'm just gonna tell that to him. And we shall see to it. As for your passage to Ukaizo. Karu can introduce you to your conveyance. She shall meet you at the Brass Citadel by the docks. His eyes brighten with mirth. I shall return to my office in the Brass Citadel once I've seen to matters here. He crosses his forearm over his chest and nods once. So we need to go to the Brass Citadel. Juan Gaza, where are you? My quest is not finished. To one Kaza is dead. Screw it, us. We need to kill one Kaza. What? Can't go there. Where are we going? We're supposed to go to the brass citadel, right? We can't go into the Imperial Command. I suppose this is bloody. Well, look at that. Quite the reception. Uh You did it. You really pulled it off. Hazanui, I didn't realize you were such a green punk. When we were speaking inside. Damn, I see your style. It's uh quite a uh, Quite unique. You're even more unique than the lamphead guy. The guys in the back are pretty happy about this. Uh, Kairi is grinning fiercely, her pipe clamped beneath her stained teeth. She starts to clap you on the back, but pulls you into a bone-crushing hung instead. The musky smells of gunpowder and White leaf that uh, off the off of her. Aha! You've given Rawatai a future. 
Thanks to you, we have only to seize it. Still grinning, she clenches her left hand into a fist. The other soldiers are doing their best to remain at attention, though they can't help but exchange glances and whispers with one another, nervous and excited at the same. Promise me there will be no more casualties. You have the responsibility to do right by the people of the Deathfire too. I'm I keep reminding them. We'll clear out the pirates, establish bigger ports, and regulate the sale of Luminous Adra. Sounds good. Deadfire will be every bit as safe and orderly as the rest of our empire. You have my word. But if our efforts are to mean anything, then we must get to Ukaizo. Come, it's time you saw what Okaya's engineers have been working on. You helped Rawatai establish a foothold in Deadfire, and I promised you a way to Ukaizo. She holds her wooden hand over the empty water. Great, so I'm gonna swim there? I can't swim that far. She only smiles. Our engineers at Sayuka have developed a one-of-a-kind vessel that will give us mastery over the seas. Oh yeah, the submarine! That, that seems really just, you know, like, like just a side quest. I, I kind of wondered if it's... I, I actually didn't even wonder too much if it's gonna ever, ever gonna come up. Seriously? I bought the big junk for nothing? And you a means to reach Ukaizo. I give you the blade of Takoa. I'm not calling that. Holy crap. Thanks to our engineer's dedication and Ivera's magic, the blade of Takoa can travel beneath the water. I... I am definitely on board with this. I like this. The storms of Andra's mortar won't stop you. They won't even touch you. <laughs> this is pretty nice. So I suppose we don't need a, a big fleet. We need an actual proper ship, considering that two of my ships uh, sunk. Uh, this is impressive work, Hazanui Karu, I have to say. She crosses her forearms over her chest, still smiling. Now comes the time to put it to use. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna. You'll go to Ukaizo. If our predictions are correct, there should be a way for you to disable the storms somewhere on the island. Okay. Focused once more on the mission before her, she grows thoughtful and intent. I suppose if you go with the Juana, then you might uh, uh, do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, now I see a piece of information that could give us some ways to uh, deal with Ondra's Mortal. So, what the Juana can do in Ondra's Mortal. Of course, the water shapers, they could do something. Uh, then, uh, we got the Valiant Trading Company. Uh, we don't really know what they can do, other than the portal thingy. That might help. Maybe not. But I'm not uh, the, the, on the best of terms with them. And the pirates. The pirates have the ghost ship. That apparently just goes... Like, it's kind of like a submarine, but... This seems like the coolest. Okay. Once you've done that, the rest of our ships can secure it. And you... Can face Aethys. Like it. The ship will be waiting for you at Queen's birth. Try it out. See how it handles. Once you're ready, we'll follow you to Andra's Mortar. Got it. In the meantime, I'll be at Serpent's Crown. We've both got our work cut out for us. Yeah, hostile takeover, most definitely. Now, I don't really feel good about it, but we need some kind of help. We need at least somebody to do something about Aotas. And 
Queen Wonkaze is incompetent. Maybe letting her live, or like unintentionally, uh, unfortunately, is actually the best bit because if her supporters are gonna rally behind her, that's that's the worst thing they can do. Uh, by the way, you need to take these out, else you can't use it. Because she is uh, terribly incompetent. So we're gonna take out everything from this junk that I bought. And that I didn't realize. I just I just thought we're gonna need a better ship. Because our the Defiant uh, sunk instantly. And I just... Well, it was not very worthwhile to show. I'm just gonna take out everybody. Because uh, they don't automatically go to the next ship. So we're gonna see, we're gonna change to the other ship. No. Also, this is the only way to uh, swap between ships, apparently. We're gonna check the ship management tab. And this ship... Oh, we got submarine cannons. Master cannoneer, great. Well, we got cannoneer, sure. Well, we got helmsman, sure. Another helmsman slash deckhand can slash cannoneer cook, but more like extra at this point. Cook, well, yeah, this is the special cook. Navigator, sure. Deckhand, that's what we need. Navigator, helmsman. Um, those jobs are not available. Maybe you gotta be a bonus deckhand. That's good. Surgeon, that's good too. Surgeon slash navigator. I don't know. We're gonna need someone on the deck. You're gonna be on the deck. And we're gonna have two extras. Sure, why not? Ooh, we have no sails. But we can put in the special little lamp. Oh, cannot be removed. Sure, okay, why not? Sail health none, whole health 100. Okay. I guess that's our ship now. Oh, so where are we going? Yeah. Now, we gonna leave this, uh, the city by sea. And I guess we are ready. We're gonna do it with the submarine, which is kinda awesome. That means if I wanna have a different conclusion for the end of the game. The thing is, I'm not sure if I have proper saves, but I think I should have proper saves. So if I really wanted to explore other options with this save, I think it's possible because I do have a, well, maybe not right now, but I did have a, a good reputation with all the factions other than the Principe. But I ended up, uh, you know, just kind of redeeming myself a little bit. So I guess that's it. We just have to go. We had to um, at least get on board with one of the factions. And although it seems like, well, it's it's definitely an... Wait a second. Oh yeah, they're there. The guy who's no longer aboard your ship, he left you a missive. Let's see. Captain, I'm an artist, crafted of water. Not a killer, chipped from stone. As I am not equal to serving on your crew, and you have fallen below deserving the blessing of Nagati's son, I say we are poorly suited to each other's company. May the wheel grind the memory of your deeds into oblivion. Wow. May you forget this life in your next. By Mother Nagati, I pray that you find the peace you seek. Farewell, Captain. So we do know that Takahu is uh, linked to the Juana. Well, this wasn't exactly surprised by any means, but he does leave us if we actively work against the Juana. I don't know if a uh, Seraphim would leave us if he actually work if he actively worked against the Principi because he doesn't seem to do that. He's just cool with everything. Seems like the companions that are really cool with everything are at there. I don't know, I just assume a lot. Maybe like moral, morally not so much. So there are companions that are tied to actions. 
Well, they, I guess they're all tied to actions, but some of them are tied to factions and uh, and and also morality. Some are more open to. No, we're not not gonna go into the the channel right now. Okay, so we lost uh, we lost Fish Boy, which doesn't really affect us too much because we didn't use him before. But I guess this is time to sell to Kaizo now. And we are ready. We have a, a bloody submarine. Anyway guys, that's it for now. See you next time.